Welcome to the project demonstration of three phase induction motor protection from phase and temperature fault identification. So here we are going to protect the three phase induction motor that will be presented with the help of these six bulbs. So each two bulbs representing the single phase. So here the next operation is if is there any fault identification was done with the help of our peak microcontroller. Then in order to protect the three phase induction motor we need to isolate the total three phase power supply to the motor as we know that three phase motor can run on two phase also but the third coil will make it damaged and in order to protect that motor we need to control the motor whenever the phase fault was detected so the system will continuously monitor the phases available that is r y b phase availability and also based on the availability it will indicate that through this r y b uh, LED indications and also next indication is for the temperature so here we are using the thermistor so which can monitor the temperature of the induction motor so the temperature rising due to the heavy load or any coil damage then we need to protect the remaining coils by isolating the same power supply to the motor so here the protection was done with the help of phase checking as well as the temperature so coming to the phase checking so here we are using these three current sensing circuits to check the phases availability so for demonstration purpose we are converting the single phase 230 volts to three phases so as we know that phase to phase voltage is 440 volts but phase to ground is 220 volts so here i am providing 220 volts here 220 volts 220 volts for the three current sensing circuits the output of the current sensing circuit will be given as input to the pic 16 f 72 microcontroller at the A0, A1, A2 pins. So in order to make fault, we place the switches. So when the switch is off, then the system will came to know that the particular phase is not available. Then the system will isolate the three relays which are representing for the three phases controlling switches. So these three relays are interfaced at the C6, C7 and C5 pins. And the phase availability will be displayed from this LED indications at the C0, C1, C2 pins and uh, temperature sensor thermistor which interface to the A4 pin of our microcontroller. So coming to this relay boards, each relay board consists of transistor and LED indication. So LED indication will show the status of the relay and transistor to switching the relay. So the switching sequence is microcontroller will switch on the transistor transistor will switch on this electromagnetic relay and electromagnetic relay will allow the particular phase to the bulbs so let us see the demonstration so initially on the power supply to this current sensing circuits and the next on the power supply to the motherboard so this adapter will switch on the motherboard and this phase will switch on the loads power supply Right, so as of now the phases are off state only. So I am switching on the R, Y, B. When the three phases available, then the bulbs will get switched on. And if the temperature increases due to the any heavy load or any coil damage, then just I am increasing the temperature at this black uh, thermistor. So it is right. We can see that one light indication on this thermistor module. So when the current temperature is normal again, so it will check the phase availability and the temperature should be normal. When these two conditions are satisfied, then only the bulbs will get switched on. Means the phase will get the power supply from the respective relays. So coming see, you see if there is any red phase damage, so the red light is off state, so that we came to know that the red phase was not available. And it's come back again. So the system will resume the power supply to the coils. Y and B. So coming to the current sensing circuits. So it has the four stages. So in order to measure the AC availability of particular phase. So the controller can't measure the AC load, AC voltage. So that's why we need to convert the AC to DC. Before that, we need to step down the AC to 30 volts to 12 volts AC after this step down transformer and then there will be a rectifier IC which will rectify the 12 volts AC to 12 volts pulsating DC and then we need to remove the pulses to get the pure DC voltage for the purpose we are making use of these capacitors. 
so after that we will get the PUDC of 12 volts but controller can't measure the 12 volts but we need to regulate that to 5 volts so for that purpose we will making use of 7805 regulator so after that we will get the 5 volts DC now 230 volts AC is step down rectifier filter regulation 5 volts DC is available to the microcontroller if the 5 volt is available from these wires then the indication of 230 volts are also available on the particular phase so like that we are going to measuring the phase availability and temperature